hi everyone welcome back uh, as we have discussed in the earlier videos in this particular session we are going to um, see how to do a command from SQL instance installation a, a little bit of change in this I'm going to do the command from SQL Server installation but I will also change the directory level as well uh, by default the instance goes into the default directories which is C colon program files Microsoft SQL Server uh, let me quickly show you so by default it installs in C colon if you're installing a 64-bit so it will go into C colon program files Microsoft SQL Server and and the version you are installing like we are installing SQL Server 2017 so it will be 140 um, and it will go here in this folder uh, at the same location it will create the instance specific folder like this one Microsoft SQL Server and all the data and the backup folders <coughs> now what I have done is I'm, I'm going to install all the shared binaries onto C colon program file Microsoft SQL Server the only thing I'm going to make a change is that I want to store my database files onto a different drive so I have a drive H and I have created a folder called SQL data and everything I want to store it here now to do that what we have to do is that in our uh, command which we have prepared for the installation we have to add something called install SQL data directory so this is a parameter which you can go ahead and search so if you uh, just give me a second sorry so if we go here and we try to search here we will see that install SQL directly specifies the data directory for SQL Server data files so by default master model MSDB TEMDB uh, everything will be uh, all, all database data files will be created into the folder which I will specify under this parameter so let's quickly go and create that so I have to just change the instance name as I have suggested before so and the rest of the things are fine so we will just go here on the command prompt and we will do a silent installation so we need to go to the directory where our setups are to get the setup.exe so cd so in this folder we have our setup.exe and press enter and the setup will start so what I did, I did a small mistake uh, uh, that I did not remove the QS command to Q. Uh, so I need to just stop this installation. So I have exited the installation and the installation has stopped. So let's quickly go to home and change it to S. and in a few moments the setup will install the instance uh, we can see the progress by going into the logs as well as we can also see that how basically the SQL is getting installed using the task manager so if I right click here on the task manager we will see something called as scenario engine which is basically the installer you will see SQL Server setup bootstrap and SQL Server setup bootstrap 32 this bootstrap the first bootstrap is for 64 bit and the other one is 32 bit because of the shared uh, binaries which uh, will be installed for 32 bit and for 64 bit so we will keep monitoring it so it is going to take some time so I'm just pausing the video for the moment I will resume once the installation is completed so as I said just uh, before we started the setup that we can see the progress so uh, let me show you how we can see the progress so, so we can go to C colon program files Microsoft SQL Server and the version you are installing in the setup bootstrap we can go to the logs and in the logs we can see what is the latest folder which was created we can open that and we can just click on the details here we can see what is right now going on here and if we go down we can see that running the execution and all those the status update will be there so and yep 
so this is the machine name so the instance name is sdp2 succeeded uh, sql says setup is supported on this operating system platform all this stuff so uh, we, we will keep monitoring this during the setup process so it is going to take a while so if we go here and we see the cpu utilization you will see the sql server engine is doing its job from the background so once it is done uh, we will be able to see that on on the edge drive we will get the folders in the sql data so i'm just pausing a bit here for the installation to progress so it seems installation is completed we can just verify it uh, if you go to the location where we have given the path you will see that uh, we have got the folder created by our instance name within the instance name we will have microsoft sql folder and the data and other stuff and within the data folders we will have our master model msdp and temdb so we will just do a quick check uh, in the next video we will go over validating the sql instance installation so let's just have a quick check on the instance we just installed and in the next video we will catch up on uh, validating the sql server instance installed so let's connect to the instance we just installed we go to the sql server installed instances connect to the instance connect So the instance is installed and the SQL Management Studio is connecting to it. So yeah, so we have the instance up and running. We can access it. So that's it in this video. See you in the next tutorial. Thank you.